What's up guys, this is Travis. Uh, welcome to your 10 tutorial. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Hope you learned a little bit. But if you're still pretty much confused, I understand and you'll pick up on it quickly. Um, I just want to say thanks for subscribing and give me those thumbs up. I'm loving that. But uh, today we're going to go through a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to do some stuff that you've already done in the past, but uh, pretty much the new stuff that you're going to do is setting up that button so um, it's actually going to do something. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff in today's lesson, so I, I do realize that, and don't, don't give me thumbs down because I don't explain everything. The next tutorial, I will break down basically what we did because we're doing so much at, in 10 minutes. I'm just going to jump right into it and the first thing that we're going to do is create a new layout and we're just going to go you know new other XML or Android XML layout in your Android folder and we're going to call this tutorial one yeah tutorial one again everything has to be lowercase and you can only use well I guess the numbers one through nine and then we just have to add the XML at the end I always forget that for some reason there we go. We don't need to do anything with this. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is go to our main XML and we're going to change some of these references on the buttons because uh, this one doesn't have a reference and this one I had 12. But uh, what we're going to do add some references so we can use the buttons later. Again it's just uh, Android ID equals at plus layout and then we're gonna call this button uh, tutorial one and then this one you should already have a reference and we're just gonna call it tutorial two I had it 12 so you want to change it to two and then we're just gonna save and we're gonna get rolling here uh, the other thing that we want to do is add a new a new Java class again you just go new class and we're gonna call this one tutorial if I can spell here uh, tutorial one and we're gonna save that within this class we're again gonna, gonna extend or extends activity and again, this is just so we can use uh, like the on create, on pause, all the all that good stuff. And if you hover over, we still have to import activity so we can actually use it. And we're just going to set this up so we don't get an error when we open this activity. So again, we're going to go to source, override methods, and then on create. And you want the bundle. I'll basically set it up for you like you're familiar with already. You should probably be like, oh, I know what we're doing here. Then we're just going to do set content view. And it's going to be our layout dot our new one, our tutorial. And then end that with a semicolon. And we are off to start with our button here. Oh no, we might actually have time to explain the button. I didn't think we would. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open our main class. Or, well, not our XML. We're going to open our menu class. And with it, within the onCreate method, we're going to set up our button. And this is going to be familiar. This is kind of this layout is going to be like our MP splash that we did. Except, uh, well, I'll get to that in a second. To set up the button, we're going to have to do button, and then we're just going to say B for button. This is just something I do to help me remember the variables. Button tutorial uh, 1, or I'll just do 1, like that. And again, like our previous lesson, like I kind of referenced, it doesn't recognize button. So we're going to have to import the button, and now we can make a button variable pretty much. 
And to set this one up, again, it's, it's going to be different, just like the media player variable was different. Um, but what, what the good news is, is pretty much every time we use a button, even different kinds of buttons, even different uh, types of views is what they call those, is those, those widgets. Pretty much um, the buttons are widgets, the, the text view is a widget, and those are classified as views. Now we can set up this variable to our XML that we laid out in the main XML that ID we had for the buttons and we're gonna set this up to our first button so it'll be uh, tutorial one and to do that we're gonna put in parentheses button again capital B and then like I said these are views a button is a view so we're gonna say find view by ID and V is uppercase, B and I are all uppercase. And this is just going to say, hey, we're going to look through the XML or whatever you're referencing here, and we're going to find what you want to find. But make sure it's a view. And since a button is a view, we're going to be able to find it. So now we're going to hit R, ID, hit ID, dot, tutorial one. And just like our MP splash variable, it's going to tell us again that we aren't using this. Uh, we've just basically defined it and referenced it to the tutorial button we set up in XML. So that's pretty cool. But now we want to use this. We're going to do button tutorial one. And we went, when we hit dot, it's going to give us a lot of different view methods and stuff we can attach to our variable because a button like I said earlier is a view that's one of like the star things I want you to learn is like a button is a view uh, text view is from the view class um, so basically get that in your mind that's like the one thing you want to take away from this lesson is a button is a view and we can use those view methods we're gonna want to set it up as something that we can click on so we want to set and my computer is slow so it's not finding it set on click listener so basically this is gonna uh, use this method with this parameter in here uh, on click listener parameter uh, or in its parameter so we're gonna add this one and again it's just gonna say Hey, now we're going to make this a uh, click listener. And what we want to what we want to do is do new view because it's from the view class again. And we're going to do dot on click listener and this is going to be a method. And like before, it's going to set up this is kind of like our uh, our thread that we set up where uh, we didn't really define it and it's going to do whatever is in this bracket and again this is going to be a little confusing but you're going to become a master at this in no time because we're going to be using some more buttons here in the next few tutorials but uh, yeah it's going to do what whatever is in here and it's saying on click view whatever the view was so this is where we want to set up what we want our button to do is within this on click so we're gonna we're gonna do something that you've done before start a new activity and again it's gonna take an intent within its parameters so we're gonna say new intent because we haven't defined one again and we're gonna set this equal to our package name And we're going to say dot tutorial. Oh, wow. Dot tutorial one. We're just going to spell it out. I'm just going to copy this and put a semicolon here. And it doesn't know what an intent is, so we're going to have to import that. 
Now we just have to add a semicolon to the end of this because if you look right here, this bracket ends right here, this bracket ends right here, and this parentheses goes over all that stuff. And basically, this is like on one line, like right how this is. But so since it's so long, uh, we're just gonna have to end it down here. And if you remember from before, since we set up a new intent, we're gonna have to define that in our Android manifest. So we're gonna just do that real quick. We're just gonna copy activity from before and just change some stuff up. Again, we want to name this what we named our class, which was spelled like that right here, and then our Android name for the action is gonna be what we just copied. Oh no, not that. We're just gonna uh, do tutorial one. and hit save and now when we click that button it's going to I'm just gonna save this make sure we don't have any errors it's gonna take us it's gonna start a new activity and it's gonna reference it as this so we're just gonna run the project and I just kinda wanna talk through something real quick okay and now uh, I just kinda cut out that splash screen cause you guys don't need to see that but uh, now when we click this button it's going to take us to our one tutorial Java activity or class. And the neat thing is, is uh, when we hit back, it brings us back to the menu screen. So we can just, uh, you know, play around with that. That's pretty cool. And um, basically, if we hit back again, it's just going to shut down our app because that splash screen, if you remember, we had it finish itself. So it's no longer there. Um, but uh, we never defined our menu to be finished when we click the button so you can go back and forth and the menu class will go on pause when you uh, start up that new activity so you can define some stuff within the on pause for the menu if, it, if you'd like um, I know this, can t this tutorial went pretty quick and we did a lot of stuff again I'll try and explain a lot more in the next tutorial I just wanted to get it set up and running for you guys. Again, these this button is probably going to be a little bit confusing in how it works for now, but uh, you'll become a champion at this in no time. I know you will because we're going to be using it more and you're going to understand the layout a lot more in the next few tutorials. Again, thanks for subscribing and hope to see you next video.